Thank you for choosing Defender, and welcome to the first time setup tutorial for our Defender HD 1080p security system. DVR Setup Wizard. This section will guide you through the initial Defender HD Setup Wizard. When powered on for the first time, the Setup Wizard can be used to set common DVR functions. By default, the Setup Wizard will be disabled after the initial setup. If the DVR factory settings are restored, the setup wizard will be shown once the DVR powers back up. Step 1. User Configuration The second page of the setup wizard is the user configuration page. To access your DVR, the default username is admin and the default password is 123456. To ensure your privacy, you will be required to update the DVR password from the default to a new six-digit password. The new password cannot be the same as the default. We recommend choosing something that you will remember, but others would be unlikely to guess. Once you have confirmed your new password, click to move on to the next stage of the setup wizard. Step two, HDD management. The third page of the setup wizard shows the current state of the DVR's internal hard drive. The information is broken down into categories such as Hard Drive Status shows the status of the hard drive. Available slash total shows the amount of available hard drive space in gigabytes. Available Time shows the amount of available recording time on the hard drive in hours. Select gives you the ability to select a specific hard drive Defender HD supports one hard drive. It also allows you to select the frequency for which the footage will be overwritten on the hard drive. The options are off, auto, one day, three days, seven days, 14 days, 30 days, 90 days. Note, if auto is selected, the hard drive will overwrite the oldest footage as soon as space is needed. If the DVR is not set to auto, it is possible that the hard drive may become full and the DVR will stop recording. The recommended setting for this is auto. Lastly on this page, you are able to format the hard drive. Selecting Format HDD will remove all recorded footage from the hard drive. To format the hard drive, check the select box and then click Format HDD. Note. Once formatting has started, it cannot be stopped and all recorded footage will be deleted from the hard drive selected. This action will not erase or change settings. Once you are happy with the setting selected, click Next to proceed to the next page of the setup wizard. Step 3. Record Schedule This section allows you to adjust the recording schedule for your DVR. By default, the DVR will record on a 24-7 schedule. You can set a specific schedule for every channel for each day of the week. You can also set the DVR to record only when motion is detected. To start setting up your recording schedule, begin by selecting the channel you would like to edit. To set the same schedule for every day, leave the channel set to channel 1. If you would like to set recording for certain days of the week and time frames, check the continuous box to set the calendar for consistent recording or the motion box to set the calendar for motion only recording. Then click onto each square. Each square represents a 30 minute time frame. Click and drag to highlight and select multiple time frames at once. Green squares indicate a constant recording schedule. Yellow squares indicate a motion recording schedule. To record motion, you must enable motion in the alarm menu. The copy button allows you to copy the settings to multiple or all channels. Select a specific channel or all channels from the drop downs, then select copy. Your schedule settings should now be applied to specific channels selected. Once you are happy with the settings selected, click next to proceed to the next page of the setup wizard. Step four, general system configuration. This page allows you to adjust the general system configuration settings. Date. Enter the current date. The date set is the date where the recorded footage will be found. If the incorrect date is set, the footage will be found on the incorrect date. Time. Set the current time. 
date format. Set how the date will appear on the live view screen. The options are month, day, year, year, month, day, day, month, year, time format. Select between a 24-hour clock or a 12-hour clock. Language. Select your desired language. Video format. Here you can select the video format you would like your footage to record. NTSC is the North American video format. PAL or PAL is the European format. If located in North America, changing this setting will stop the live stream of your cameras. Menu timeout. Adjust how long the menu will stay on the screen without activity. These options are 30 seconds, 1 minute, 2 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, or off. Once you are happy with these settings selected, click Next to proceed to the next page of the Setup Wizard. Step 5. Remote Viewing Setup If you haven't done so already, this page allows you to set up remote viewing on your smartphone using the QR code in the Defender HD app. From the App Store on your smartphone, download the Defender app. Once downloaded, create an account. You will receive an email with a verification link. Once the link is verified, scan the QR code to access your DVR remotely from your smartphone. The password in the device menu of the app must match the six-digit password you created in step one. After successfully creating an account and setting up the Defender HD app, click Save to complete the setup wizard. You will now see the live view of your cameras. In addition, you will now have access to the function toolbar at the bottom of your screen. This concludes the setup wizard portion of your first time setup tutorial. Now that you've completed first time configuration, you can move on to the how to set up your Defender HD account via mobile tutorial to continue your first time setup. Thank you for choosing Defender to protect what you value most.